You know, there's this, this really messed up stereotype going around that women can't be funny, that they just aren't funny. Like, that's really offensive, honestly. Men are always so quick to say that women aren't funny. And you know what, sir? You are entitled to that opinion. But let me ask you something. You're walking down a hallway. A janitor jumps out from behind the closet doors. What's he say? Supplies! All right, and I won't stand for this type of, this type of prejudice against the female species, okay? And I'm going to prove to you that women are funny, that they can be funny, all right? So we're going to watch this TikToker, this person who's got famous off of TikTok, who's got nearly 3 million subscribers or followers, because that's what they call it on TikTok. They're all the same. And I'm going to prove to you all, once and for goddamn all, that women are funny, okay? Let's check this out. And you're, you're going you're gonna to feel stupid. You understand me? My mom is also worried about me because I love... Murder documentaries. I love, 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 love. It's always the girls. Because the boys are too busy murdering. <laughs> no, my mom. See? That's funny. I was like, why do you watch murder documentaries right before you go to sleep? And I'm like, to remind myself my day could have been worse. Life is about perspective, it's mental health awareness. But I'm weird, like if a dog even sprains an ankle in a movie, I'm like, this is disgusting. <laughs> but to hit REM sleep at night, I need to see like eight women get beheaded for no reason. And I'm like, me, 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 me. <laughs> I was like into Ted Bundy. All right, I'm gonna drop the act. <laughs> so far it's kind of just like, oh, semi-relatable humor. It's like semi-relatable, like, white female humor. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing at that quantification. She hasn't said anything that's quite funny yet, which is fine. Uh, you don't got to be funny as a comedian. That's not how the world works. You can just be a mediocre comedian, and that's, that's fine. So. I was, like, into Ted Bundy. <laughs> oh, calm down. <laughs> I realize that I'm his type. <laughs> like he would have went right past you two blondes. You would have lived. Um, he wouldn't pick me. <laughs> I'm a pick me girl. I don't care if it's bloody. I want attention. Um, thanks for choosing me, Teddy. No, he's not a good guy. He's not. But some guys are out here wasting your time. You know, some guys are cheating, lying, stealing, gaslighting, love bombing. But Teddy won't. He'll give you all of his attention. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this stuff. See? A year in, you are a shell of yourself. Ted Bundy's first date, he's like, you're fucked. And I respect the honesty. <sighs> Granted, in her defense, these are like tiny excerpts and I'm not going out of my way to watch the entire thing. Or at least the entire stand-up special or whatever. This person's got a new Netflix special, I guess, or the releasing one, which is good. Good for you. You did it. You, you won. She does kind of have an uphill battle, especially if she's, you know, these are just minute-long clips that I'm reacting to. Sorry, I was just going through some of the comments. This is the best take on murder mysteries ever. Saying, choose me, Ted Bundy. Hannah is so skilled, her timing is perfect. The nails, 10 out of 10. The outfit, 10 out of 10. The tan, 12 out of 10. The comedy, a million out of 10. Fire emoji. Wow. <laughs> you can see women's comedy is raising the bar. Let's see what Some intimacy got. issues, I don't like cuddling. It's a lot of logistics. If you're the small spoon, you have to get into like a weird fetal position. Move your hair so it's out of his face but still looks cute. <laughs> and he always puts his hand right here, so you have to go, Aah! You gotta suck in, and God forbid a little air wants to come out. <laughs> it's game time, ladies. You clench like you've never clenched before. All right, so it's kind of just like, basic women relatability humor 
It's like, oh, don't you hate it when this happens or you're doing this with your guy and then this happens? I mean, you appeal to an audience and that's the only thing that really matters, I guess, clearly. Because you make money off the thing that you do and people are going to judge you based off of that, not actually the thing that you do. Because people don't give a shit about the thing that you do. It's like the social proof. It's the ideas surrounding something that matter. So, yeah, this is a perfect example of that. I mean, so far, it's just whatever this is. Basic white bitch humor. All right. Let's say you pivot. You put your head on his chest. You're like, this is safer. But as you're doing it, you feel his chest go up and down, and you're like, oh, my God. It would be so cute if I matched my breath with his breath and we became one soul to take on the world together but then as you're doing it you kind of forget how to breathe and then there's no air going in or out it's unsafe it's unsafe to cuddle all right well now that occupies your brain that's the thing. I guess that's just the thing about being just okay at what you do. There's not really much to say. <laughs> just look at the comments. I haven't looked at the comments yet, but I thought I was the only one who did the breathing thing. Lamao, Lameo, me. I'm waiting for the joke. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've come across so far. Let's see what people have to say in reply to that. You're not the target audience. That is only. This is only funny if you can relate to it. Is that how humor works? You enjoy something, like the only thing that makes something as funny is whether or not it applies to your life, is that? So is the, the Ted Bundy joke we saw before, is that? I'm sorry, joke. Do you relate to that? You like serial killers? And you find them attractive, you want them to pick you? <laughs> What's, what? <laughs> and then Jessica Parker says, this is, yeah, this isn't funny to me at all. And then somebody's like, okay, Jessica. Mm, dead emoji. What are these comments? What, are, what kind of conversation is Okay, Jessica, it isn't. Are you kidding? <clears throat> she ain't funny at all. What was your, the, but the previous comment was not that. It was the opposite. <laughs> the comedian is terrible, little bro. You just 180'd on this. <laughs> they agree, what? You are so funny, but also you look so good, slay. I'm gonna move on before I like ingest a bunch of painkillers in a bathtub <laughs> it was a self-deletion joke it's... oh god all right last one i wish the most essential liquid was an espresso martini <laughs> joke and then high-pitched screeching that's a fair reaction I don't blame you for that what the fuck was that hey is your audience dude these are the people you're bringing in I didn't know we were in an opera hall that is holy shit you go to Hollywood you're going to Hollywood <laughs> that was like the bird from Shrek do you remember <laughs> Is she okay? Can someone check if she... Ex okay. I'll give you props where it's props due. I mean, I'm not laughing. I don't find it funny, but not, like, somewhat clever. Not bad crowd work. Goddamn. <laughs> there, there you go. You won, won for the women. Good, good job. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. If she explode her head, just like... <laughs> <laughs> a hot girl just malfunctioned in the crowd <laughs> why are hot girls so good at yelling like when did whenever we do anything we just go ah! but different kind of yells have different tones like we communicate like ah! is different than like ah! you don't get it um oh let's see them comments homegirl just chugged an espresso martini and screamed Ha ha ha. Love when you laugh at your own jokes. 
It's hard to know whether or not people are fucking with you. It really is. Want to know something crazier than store-bought pesto? Espresso martinis put me in a kidney failure on my 23rd birthday. Damn, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, try to resist the, the feminine urge of standing in line at Starbucks to get your, your, your diabetes drink. It's mainly women. Hey man, you found your audience, make your money. Who cares, right? You don't gotta be funny, you don't gotta be talented, just make money. And then people will associate talent with that. Cause like, oh my God, all these other people like this, she must be pretty good at why she dies. It's, it's eight, eight brain bullshit, so. All right, well that's, that was that, so you're welcome.